Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our second semifinals men's pro doubles. I'm Dean Baer. Joining me in the booth is, as always, Mr. Fabio Soto. Fabio, it's great to be back online. Um, great doubles match. Javier Mar, Rodrigo Montoya, De La Rosa, Beltran. They'll move on. The, the winner of this match will take on Beltran, De La Rosa, tonight, 8.30. Uh, Fabio, what do you expect from this particular matchup? Well, I'm expecting a good good match here because, you know, uh, Parrilla is still in this event in singles. He defeated Rocky Costner earlier today, so he has really pumped up. And uh, Sam Murray, he's still in this because he defeated Carlos Keller earlier. So those two gentlemen are fired up. You know, Portillo's out of singles. Land is out of singles. And I see a lot of a good matchup here. I'm going to see a lot of hitting and a lot of smart plays because Andre Parrilla, is, as you know, Dean, is one of the smartest players on tour. He's very intelligent to play racquetball, so I expect to see a lot of strategy on his end. The players are stopping. There's some sort of um, audio noise that's, that's there. It might be the referee's microphone. But it's not us. Um, I want to welcome everybody into the chat box. I want to thank you for, for watching. Please like our post, share our feed. Um, remember that Racquetball is brought to you free by the partners of the IRT. Zero serving one on that pen scoreboard. Once again, this is the 36 and a half KWM Gutterman Shamrock Shootout presented by Platte Hill Nursery. I want to thank Mr. Keith Miner for his support of racquetball and of the IRT. Skip Keep shot right in. there by Andre Parrilla. So as we're one serving one, Dean, you know, I think that uh, Sam Marie needs to make a statement here because, you know, he's, he's in the semifinals of... Uh, the men's pro singles, but after winning the Grand Slam this year early in Atlanta, do you remember that? Then he came back to Denver and he lost in the first round. Yes. Uh, he doesn't string back-to-backs well. Remember, this is our second match right now. It's 2.30, and we'll be back at 5.30 for singles. 5.30 and 6.30 and 8.30. Skipped in, Portillo. We'll go through the whole gamut. We'll have a pregame show uh, prior to the first match, the 5.30 match. That's De La Rosa and Murray. Skip What's your prediction? I, I, I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna put you right on the spot, Fabio. What's your prediction who's going to win this match? Well, my prediction... Right away, what, what, what team? I think that Barrilla and Portillo are going to come out on top on this one. My, my gut tells me so. Actually, I'm, I'm in agreement, and I don't know if it's the fact that Landa lost, but maybe he's got the chip on his shoulder. But, you know, we're so used to seeing the De La Rosa, Beltran, Landa, Murray finals mm -hmm. that uh, maybe we want a different result. You know what I mean, right? No, I completely agree. What do you guys in the chat box? What do you guys want? What? Do you, what? Who do you want to take on De La Rosa and Beltran? Well, let me give you a little reference, Dean. Last year at Mexican Nationals, the semifinal was Eduardo Portillo and um, Andre Parrilla versus Beltran De La Rosa, and Beltran and De La Rosa took it 11-10 tiebreaker. I remember. You were there. I was there. Great shot, Sam Murray. Straight down that line. One, two, three. Uh, but Landa's it, but just if it, tough. But if it comes to power play, well, Landa and Murray have the advantage because they ha they're hard hitters, both of them. And if it comes to strategy-wise, I think Parrilla and Portillo have the advantage. Well, you know, I talked to Andre yesterday after their their semi their quarterfinal match, you know, because one of the things that we talked about was, you know, the play of you know the Portillo and Andre team. 
they they just never were we didn't think it was right and and we thought andre should be on the left and portillo should be on the right I, we really thought andre was more was, a, was more of a leader but you know lala portillo grow grew into that role now so you know that's that's kind of good it is good Three serving three on the head pen scoreboard. Wow, Sam Murray. Dean, I have no words for that shot. Yeah. Very impressive. Sam is. The score is three serving three. Point there for Landon Murray. Four serving three on the head pen scoreboard. Get. Five serving three now on the head pin scoreboard. It's five three. We're working on uh, getting our scoreboard up. Beautiful reverse pinch by Landa. Six three now on the head pin scoreboard. with the high lob. No, a little soft. Now. Excellent cross-court pass by <laughs> Sam Murray. How are you, Diego? Gatica? Cover, but Lalo Portillo put it right into the corner. No one can get it. Another slap kill shot by Sam Murray. He's so impressive in doubles, Sam Murray. Yeah, he's in the doubles for a semifinal. He's got to take on De La Rosa. Eight serving three on the head pen scoreboard. We have a scoreboard inside the arena too. Big skip by Parilla. Nine three. Wow, I can't believe he got that. Good grab. Right at him. What a rally. Wow. Ten serving three, and as they get that score, 
It's timeout is called by Andre Parilla and Lalo Portillo, and we will be back shortly. No, we're going to stay right here, Father. Sorry oh. about that. We're going to stay here. You know, we got to talk about some of the sponsors of this event. Um, you, you know, we got to get these out of the way. First of all, again, Keith Miner, the title sponsor. What he does for racquetball is amazing. Always, not only here, U.S. Open, uh, three wall ball. Um, it, it's just excellent. Uh, Plant Hill Nursery is a presenting sponsor. Uh, platinum sponsors Papa Nicholas, Drago Law. Uh, platinum sponsors Rick Seberg and Frank and Diane Bunker. The gold sponsors is Chicago Spectro, Anthony's Pizza, Taco Burrito King, Mr. Danny Ortega, Gino's East, Alok Meta, Newman and Schimmel, Jam Trucking, and John O'Donnell Jr. Tulti Bars and DuPage Conventional Center. But I really want to tell everybody, you know, we, you saw a few of our commercials. We got a, a video about the U.S. Open. That's coming up shortly. We got a video out there about three wall ball. If you want an event to go to outdoor in Las Vegas in October, it's the place to be. Um, you know, right now we're in Chicago. Eleven serving three. Mm -hmm. Wow. Twelve serving three on the head pen scoreboard. Save Murray. Good save, Murray. Good save, Murray. Good save, Murray. We got a battle here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the rally. Portillo forehand, and Murray's there. Finally, Landa gets a shot in there. And Murray finally missed one. What a rally, ladies and gentlemen. I got to say, Murray playing some fantastic defensive racquetball there. Unfortunately, he didn't get the best of it at the end, but you know, that was his the, rally, ladies and gentlemen. kept it alive. Skip shot there by Eduardo Portillo. Landa down the line. I don't know, I thought Lalo was going to hold up there, but what a kill shot by Landa. So, a game point, serving three. Set up, Sam Murray. Reverse pinch, game one in the book. <laughs> game, good, good shot there. He's going to appeal. They're appealing. They can't get out. There's an oh, appeal right overturned. there. Overturned. Overturned. Game call. one is not in the books, ladies and gentlemen. So one appeal used, one appeal remaining. Between the legs. Two 
to bounce get. Half out. Five serving 14. Beautiful running back shot by Alex Landa. 14 serving. Five, I think, or six. Crack kills, Sam Murray ends game one. Ladies and gentlemen, game one is in the books. We'll take a short break. We'll be back for the start of game two right here on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Portillo serving game number two. Well, we had that prediction of Portillo and Korea, and in order for them to win this match, we need a tiebreaker. Well, two bounces. Good wide angle pass by Eduardo Portillo. Good pick up Portillo. Excellent shot right there by Portillo. Nice ceiling ball. Landa can't cover for that one, point Portillo. 1-0. One
That ball was down. Half out right there. Portillo and Parrilla. Zero serving. Murray's there. Between the legs, Perea. Beautiful down the line, Andre Perea sending it. Zero serving one. One serving zero. Hmm? Short ball. So two serving zero on the head pin scoreboard as Parrilla and Portillo. Try to get back in this. Take it to the distance. Skip ball. Point number three for the San Luis Potosi natives. Flat Landa. Good pick up there by Landa. Letting Lalo shoot, Fabio. And Andre skipped it in. The one shot he gets. I don't know if they're waiting for Lalo to make a mistake or not. I don't know. I think it was just that that was in the cards, you know, for that rally. Double bounce there. Point for Landa and Murray. We'll get on the board finally here in game two. Wow, missed shot right there by Landa, half out.
thank you to all the IRT sponsors that are out there. My pillow, head pen, gearbox, actives. Thank you for supporting the tour. And just a little bit out of the reach there for Andre Parrilla. Can't get to the back wall in time. Three serving one in the head pen scoreboard. Wow, what a great shot there. Land a side out. Oh, what a great point there. A spin shot by Sam Murray. Takes it home. Again, can't make the back wall. Andre Parrilla. <laughs> Penalty hinder called by the referee. Andre Parrilla was right in front. Andre Parrilla was right in front of Sam Marie, so a penalty hinder called. Skip shot again. Wow, Sam Marie is just playing a phenomenal backhanded game. Looks unstoppable. Hit Sam Murray. Such a fast paced ball. Six serving three in the head pen scoreboard. shot right there. Eduardo Portillo taking a risk once again but resulting in another point given away. They were up 3-0. Now they're down 7-3. So seven points in a row there for Sam Murray and Alex Landa. Skip once again. Eight serving three in the headpin scoreboard. This game seems to be recovering the pace of game number one. Fantastic defensive play there by Sam Murray. Alex Land just tapping his racket. Sam Murray's, you know, Dean, for one, for being one of the biggest guys on tour, Sam moves very quickly. He is a force to be reckoned with on the backhand side. Landa. Landa's hopping. You know, I don't know if he, he, he did say he had a blister on his foot yesterday. I'm sure it, I'm sure it hasn't healed. <laughs> well, I don't think so, but he didn't mention anything earlier today about his health. So, you know, let's hope he's fine. He always wants to perform at his best. Two bounce, skip the double bounce. 8-3, cruising here.
Hashtag just a replay. Well, Andre Paris just killing that ball on the right side. A much needed side out for them. Kill shot there. Finally, Parrilla and Portillo getting back on the board here. After an, after an eight point run. Good pick up there by uh, Perea. Oh, wow. Sam Murray. That almost looked pretty. That was the prettiest skip all weekend. <laughs> Perfect down the line. What a great reverse pinch into the corner by Alex Landa for a half out. Shot selection right there, Lalo. Lalo had the reverse pinch. Fabio, he's not using it. What a rally. Thought that skipped. It's a good shot call by the referee. Let's appeal. see if Portillo and Parilla appeal They're it. They're gonna appeal it. No, I think they, he asked somebody in their corner and they said it was good. Eight serving five in the head pin scoreboard. Parilla and Portillo on a two point run. Good save right there by Murray. See, the ball's wrapping around too much. Landa can't get that down the line shot. Nobody in the front. There wow. it is. <laughs> there you go. He didn't get more, per more down the line than that. What a good way to end the rally. Of course, Landon Murray getting the best of it. Nine to five in the head pen scoreboard. Glad to see Canada. Racquetball Canada is watching. They did some really good things. They got some blow up in like racquetball court for the kids. Behind the back. Sam Murray is the Canadian national champ. That was I think last weekend. Congratulations to him. Wow, flat wow. rollout from Big Canada. Sam Murray, just impressive. No wonder he plays the left side. And you'd figure that Alex Landa, being the number two player on the that he would play the left. You would figure. No. They work well together. They play as a team. They really do. Good diving get by Parilla. See a nice switch there by Landon Murray. Wow, what 
really great pass there by Eduardo Portillo, throwing Sam Murray off guard right there. Uh, what a great shot to the left corner from Eduardo Portillo. Seven serving 10 on the head pin scoreboard. What a great rally. Oh, fantastic rally, and Sam Murray can't get that ball. Skipped in the left corner. And little by little, is Parrilla and Portillo getting back on track. Eight serving, Eight serving 10, we'll take a break. We'll be back on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Eight serving, 10. <laughs> Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you saw that video about Las Vegas. It's a tournament to not miss. So now we have a 10 serving, 10 match. Will we go to a breaker? Let's see if we go the distance. Skipped it in, point. Not a good time out there for uh, Murray and Landa. Three points in a row. Very quick three points for Parrilla and Portillo. Perfect shot, Sam Murray as usual. He's just steady. I'll tell you, it's gonna be a very interesting De La Rosa Murray match, I'll tell you. I agree. <laughs> 
And here goes Pablo will go right there as the players try to assist. No help. It's done. They did it. Ten serving eleven the half ten scoreboard. Eduardo Portillo drive killing that ball right in the middle of the court. 10 serves 11. Fabi, are we going to a breaker or no? Let's see. See, Portillo's wrapping that ball around to the, the, the skip ball. Lando walking up, turns around. Hey, listen, yeah, just in case, you don't know what Scott's going to say. He's trying to sell it. Scott's ain't buying. Once he is in Sevillendo Days. Wow, nice reverse pinch. 12 serving 10 in the head pen scoreboard. Wow, too much heat there from one end to the court to the other. 13-10, Parrilla and Portillo. Towel timeout sponsored by Zurich Foundation. Looking, it's smelling like a bird. But we shall see, Fabio. Wow, a skip shot there by Alex Landau. That was a tremendous skip, Fabio. Awarding point number 14 to Parrilla and Portillo, who looked to kick game number two. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Game two in the books. We'll take a break. We'll be back for the breaker right here on IRT Live. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best. But uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play it i mean that that makes you uh feel uh good and and, and makes you uh want to try it hard for and, and give a good show for that people i'm a lot of get your m40 so you can play like me The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape, love as an action. For 175 years, New York Life has been helping people act on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good.
YDF helps us a lot with uh, well, almost every tournament with the uh, hotel. That it's one of the expenses. Without them, I don't think I could go to every tournament to play. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live with game number three. Our first tiebreaker of the day. Tiebreaker action. I want to remind everybody that this game is to 11 points. Colton, they're going to appeal. No. no appeals remaining in the tiebreaker at 0-0. Zero, zero. Really bad appeal early on. They got no appeals this zero, time. 0-0 zero and they use your appeal. I don't know how Sam Murray gets those shots. Wow, kept alive. Great rally right there by Parilla and Portillo. Wow, what a fantastic down the line pass by Alex Landa. You know, Andre probably just can't get it. Lalo knew that wasn't good. One serving one of the headpin scoreboard. Look at that get by Sam Murray on his knee. Can't get that wow. one. Lalo flat rolls it. Impressive play there by the crowd Lalo liked Portillo. it. Towel timeout sponsored by Zurich Foundation. Fabio, we thought we were out of here early. I think it was like 10 5. Yeah, I mean. And they, they went on a 10 0 run. I think it was 10 5. You know, I got to praise Portillo and Parilla to keep it in this because, you know, judging by the score in game one, you didn't see it going to three. But right now they're here. They're 1 and 1. No, Lander and Murray were up 10 5 in game two. And Portillo and. Uh, Andre and, and Lalo came back to 15-10. I think it was 10-5. Two out of these four are in the semi. Nice way to get that ball. <laughs> Again, Lalo's hitting those wide angles, but they're, they're more like wraps. They're really coming all the way around the court, and they're going to Sam Murray's backhand. He's able to set his feet. That is how you spell Zurich, but there is not a link. I will get that information, actually.
two very quick points there for Parrilla and Portillo. We're at three serving one now. The pressure is on for Landa and Murray. Yes, it totally is. Four serving one on the head pen scoreboard. You cannot appeal. They don't have any. That's not. That that that's bad appeal. They used. They would have. They would have had a point right there, for a penalty hit here. So very interesting there, uh, Fabio. They appealed. Scott actually. He they won the appeal, but very interesting that Landa came out and said they don't have any appeals, and and and. Scott's like, that's a good point, and boom, it's gone. Good pick up there by Murray. Look at that shot down the line by Landa. See, that goes, goes back to, you know, Fabio goes back to game management, you know, 0-0. Zero, zero. Andre appealed a, uh, something that... They made an appeal that really was a little bit controversial. Unless you feel that you compellingly right. Not at 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, 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 you better be... Con it's better be concrete. Interesting choice of lob in the middle. Great. Great return by... Lalo Potillo. We're still at 471 in the headpin scoreboard. Not a good shot there. Down. I couldn't really see it. I had in, in the camera view we had Sam Murray right yes. in front of him. Right in front know, of us. And it, it, it again goes back to use of your appeals. <laughs> Blasted down the line by Landa. One serves four. Just think, if, if they lose by one, they would have won that other appeal. They have, if they lose 11-10. What a get. Can't get that one. Lalo Portillo puts it down the line. Well, we're still at 174 in the head pen scoreboard. Sam Murray. Screen serve. Oh. 
What a great wide angle pass by Andre Parilla. Listen, as soon as you saw that ceiling shot come from Sam Murray to that distance, Andre Parilla knew he had it. He nailed it. Point, Parrilla and Portillo again on the board. Five serving one. Yeah, but what I liked about Parilla is that he saw that Sam was all the way to the back. He pinched it right there. Sam couldn't get to it. No? Time out on the court. We'll take a break. We'll be back right here on IRT Live. Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow. Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. This is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. The new MyPillow towels are exclusively made with 100% USA combed cotton with proprietary technology and with maximum absorbency. They dry you faster and are guaranteed to work. I'm interrupting this commercial right now. Retailers have canceled MyPillow. And to thank you for all your support. Welcome back. Andre and Lalo really have to t be aggressive here, Fabio. Good pick up. Nice get there. Good shot called, appealed. Skip ball, half out. That's a good no appeal. No appeal used. That's a good appeal that they use right now. I think they still, they still kept it. So six serving one still in the headpin scoreboard. Good serve. Set up. Down the line. Murray's there. And catch that point seven. Four away, Fabio. Wow. Would you like to say? Only eight points away from victory. <laughs> well, you know what? 
I've got to say, Parilla Look at Portillo. that flat rollout, Landa. Parilla and Portillo are just playing phenomenal right now, phenomenal racquetball. After being down 15, uh, 5 to 15 in the first one, they're and playing And then great. down 10-5, game two, so. They're playing great. Good save by Perea. Good catch. What a get there by Lalo. Oh, Sam fell. Can't get that great wide angle pass wow. again by Andre Perea. One of the best shots in doubles. Towel timeout. Let's take a look at it. Sam, you see his back leg just slip. And he knew Sam was coming up for the pinch. What a great, it, it literally hit the side wall right behind, and literally like three inches behind Sam Murray. Shot to the middle, no chance for Landa. Quick rally right there and a point by Landa, 2-7. The tiebreaker is 2-11. This game will end when someone gets 11. See, Pari I want Priya to be a little more aggressive there, Fabio. You're going to let Sam keep shooting. This is going to happen to you. And again, another point for Landon Murray. Yeah, and, and it was Andre too defensive right there. Wow. I, I, I'm not. I'm not letting Landa and Murray shoot. I'm no. going to be aggressive. Of course. I want to put them on defense. Lalo and and Andre are on defense now, and they they need to switch right back to offense because this is going to get extremely tight for them. See, and here's the just a replay called. He says you had both shots. Four serving seven still. Remember, Parrilla and Portillo have no appeals left. Only on match point. Replay. Very good timeout. 5 7 on the head pen scoreboard. They'll take a break. We will too. We'll be back right here on IRT Live. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is it. No more timeouts for either one of these teams, Fabio. No, this is it. We're going to Murray, distance. Murray and Landa have an appeal, as we as we saw twice, three times. Lalo and Andre do not. Here we go. Five serving seven. Around the world, good save here. Pinch, excellent shot selection by Perea. 
Amazing, great rally, great gets right there. Just great stuff from Andre Paria. He saw that Lando was right in front. He took the shot, but Sam covered him. Unfortunately, that last shot. I think this is different, drive server. Oh no, he did before. Good, between the legs. This is gonna be a plum. Crack, front wall, side wall, roll out. Roll out. Flat rollout wow. by Perilla. Ocho, sabiendo, cinco. Let's see if later on today we see Andre Perilla do those shots in his singles. <laughs> Semi-final. Ooh, what a nice pick up there by Landa. Set up. Portillo. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Andre Perilla is so just on fire. Portillo had like three shots here, like at the dotted line with his forehand, and he goes front. Not one reverse pinch. <laughs> Replay. Replay called. I think so. I think the referee saw it hit a racket or something. I don't think it hit a person, I heard but it hit something on the way in because it sounded I, funny. I, I heard and it. And he called it instantly. So that's a really good call yeah. by the referee. I heard he hit an object. Couldn't tell what it was. Yeah. Here we go. Who's going to make the mistake? It's Perea. Oh, see the defense there? Down the line, Paria. Match point, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, looks like Fortillo and Paria have the number of Atlanta and Murray. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Paria sends it home, ladies and gentlemen. And congratulations to Paria and Portillo who take this match. 515, 15, 10, 11, 5. Wow. Unexpected. Unbelievable. Un unbelievable. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take a break. We got an interview with a, a sponsor uh, coming up, and then we're gonna have Perea and Portillo uh, in the winner's circle, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back right here on IRT Live. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and. and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for, for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. 
For 175 years, New York Life has been helping people act on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dean Bear from the IRT. I'm here with Bruce Young. Uh, Bruce, real good friend and supporter of Keith Miner uh, of KWM Gutterman. Uh, huge supporter of racquetball. W give me uh, just a couple of words of what you think about Keith Miner, what he does for this sport. Yeah, Keith's been playing racquetball since he was 10, 12 years old. He's pretty good at it, too. Pretty good. He's, uh, he's nationally, definitely an age national player for many, many years. And uh, he's uh, given back. He's been a sponsor here. For, for Chicago, he's a local legend. He's probably one of the best that come out here for many, many years. And uh, he loves supporting both this tournament, U.S. Open, and uh, he just appreciates it. Kind of quiet in the background a little bit, but uh, that's Keith. Just likes to give back to the sport for all the years he's had it. And so... Not, not only does he sponsor tournaments, but he sponsors a bunch of players. And it's just admirable. Um, tell me a little bit of something. Uh, you guys opened a company together. It's called Game Changers. You happen to be the general manager, uh, managing partner. Uh, tell the fans a little bit of something about that. That's an event. That's a, a, a venture that you and Keith are involved in. Yeah, it's called Game Changers. It's pickleball. So if you're familiar with the uh, top golf out there where you're kind of entertainment. So we'll have six indoor Six indoor courts, a little restaurant, um, bar, so forth, a little fitness as well. But it's a great transition sport from pickleball. We were all pickleball sports. Keith, who's uh, great at racquetball, is now a transition. Now he's, like, unfortunately getting real good at pickleball, too. But uh, uh, it's just an easy sport, transition-wise. And it's uh, fun indoor, outdoor. Um, it's like big ping pong or tennis light. Fun sport. And that's where it's open. It's just a new new facility, yeah. A, a lot of a lot of racquetball players transition into the game. It, it it is much different. It's much different. But I love the idea that you guys are not only incorporating the sport, but as an entertainment venue. Where did the idea to come from? Well, again, get it back to top golf. But there's another a couple other places that are out there where you've your diehard pickleball is a grow fastest growing sport out there. I mean, racquetball is growing, and it's a sport you can definitely do both. It's not like one or the other. You can do both. And actually, it helps your racquetball game. But um, it's, uh, what was your question again? I got off track there. <laughs> I said, what gave you guys the idea to open a place like that? Yeah, there was a couple of the places that have done it. Uh, a place called Chicken and Pickle, actually, to get this little pub publicity that has already done that. And again, to get the, the serious pickleball player, but it's more along the lines of anybody can show up. Four, eight people can get a court. Four can play, have your little spot behind, get some food and beverage, have some fun. It's really about that. It's like an entertainment kind of an aspect so the the skill players can really go at it and it's becoming it's got its own pro tour pickleball does and yet it's fun for anybody to show up and play it's really a fun thing so game changers game changers where is it located we're in shanahan illinois outside of Joliet, southwest suburbs of uh chicago so it's kind of like the glass court you can play racquetball and then you can go hang out in the bar and eat and have a have a beverage boom exactly and we're celebrating here tonight too jeff peters who's been around for so many years we're dedicating glass court to jeff so Shout out to him and all the people, Dan Jaskin, all the people that do so much around here. Keith, again, being a big sponsor there for so many years, but everybody's appreciated. We're a big family here in Chicagoland, so. 
we we really love. I mean, the IRT is just a huge fan of Keith Miner uh, uh, of KWM Gutterman. I mean, what he does for the sport is amazing. So I thank you for coming by. And from the IRT, we wish you guys amazing success yeah. in your business venture. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Bruce Young of Game Changers, uh, general partner, uh, managing partner of Game Changers with Keith Miner. I'm going to say goodbye to you right now. We're going to bring in the, the champions of the, uh, the men's semifinals. Come on in, Andre and Lalo. Come on in. Come on in. So uh, congratulations, guys. You're going to th – this is like an all-Mexican uh, finals now. Uh, poor De La Rosa and Beltran, they had to take care of Mar. Uh, and Montoya, and now they're going to get uh, you guys. So um, you were down 10-5 in game uh, game two, and you came back to one. What was it like in there, and who took control? Uh, first of all, congrats to them. They played really good. And in the second game, uh, when they were up 10-5, Lalo was shooting really good shots. Uh, I was just defending because they were Cross, they weren't going for the cross court to me, so I was just defending, and Lalo, Lalo took care of those points and played really well. Okay, so Lala, I have to t ask you, in the tiebreaker, this guy appeals a shot at 0-0, zero, zero, um, and, and that appeal could have cost you. Um, were you on board with his appeal, or, or did it cause some contention between you two? No, I, I actually appeal it too because I really saw a skip, and, and, I, and I was telling Andre, man, I, I really think that was an skip, but, but yeah, yeah we, we, even if we saw it as a skip, I think we shouldn't. We should have not appealed it, but so so will will you guys learn from this in a tiebreaker? I mean, it not only it has to be monumental if it's early in game three. Um, so Lalo, uh, I, we talked a lot about on the broadcast about you know you guys taking the next step as a doubles team. I mean, both of you have have now starting to take the steps individually. How does do you feel more comfortable on the court as a team? Yeah, we, we definitely feel more comfortable. I mean, we have been playing for what, like, m maybe a year because all last year we didn't play anything. But but yeah, we feel more comfortable. I felt really good playing today. Um, we did a great comeback and we we were comfortable in the tiebreaker. So so yeah, I'm I'm happy to be in the final with Andre. Okay, Andre. Uh, again, I talked to you a few times about you're you're on the right side, um, and, and I always thought you should be playing on the left side. So I'm gonna apologize right now because because <laughs> you're playing amazing on the right side. When that court opens up and you throw that pinch in there, and and you really, uh, I think you know, as a uh, higher ranked single player, I think you've really kind of nurtured Lalo into that sport and you guys really became a team. Do you feel more comfortable now as a team? Yeah, of course. Like Lalo said, we've been playing uh, for a long time now and I gave him the confidence to play the left side because I know he's good and I know uh, that he can take uh, some uh, forehand shots when he when he want to. He asked for it and I gave them to him and and that's why that's why we won now because he was taking the the, the shots and then when I had the chance I, I I complete the the like the rallies and when I when I was not playing as good as I did at the end Lalo was playing good at the beginning of the of the tiebreaker so that's why we didn't lose. It, it was a very good balance. Uh, Lalo, is there any uh, sponsors out there? I know one of your supporters, Margo, she was watching. Uh, I don't think she's ever, ever, ever she's missed a, a, a Lalo Portillo match when it's on the stream. Yeah, I love Margo. Uh, she's like my fan, my number one fan. Uh, thank you, Margo. Thank you, Gearbox. Thank you, Reaching Your Dream Foundation. Uh, I always say in the in the interviews, uh, if you want to see, see us here, support Reaching the Rain Foundation, donate to them, 100, 200. <laughs> any, any amount. Any, any amount. <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, thank you to them. Thank you to Roswell Family Care, Dean Scher, um, Maddie Melendez. Yeah, I think. That's my it? Are we done? My family in Mexico, my friends. Uh, thanks to the sponsors, the IRT. Hey everyone, thank you. Well, uh, Andre, uh, your number one fan, uh, Jessica, was watching. I I'm sure your dad was there also. Yeah. So, do you want to thank any of your sponsors? Yeah, of course, all the sponsors that put up uh, the tournament, all my sponsors, Reaching Redeem Foundation, as Lalo said, and all the people watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Rackable. Keep supporting it, and see you later.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's Reaching Your Dream Foundation. If you want to make a donation to see guys like these come to more and more events, and even younger guys that are out there, give to RYDF.org. Please reach in to your pocket. Grab a dollar. Grab two. It's a big help. It goes a long way. Guys, congratulations. I know you got finals today at 8.30. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for this doubles broadcast. We're going to take a break for, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. We'll be back with the single semifinals. The first one up, De La Rosa, Murray, 5.30, right here from Chicago on IRT Live. RYDF helps us a lot with uh, well, almost every tournament with the uh, hotel that it's one of the expenses. Without them, I don't think I could go to every tournament to play. Well, I love racquetball and I want to be the best. I want to be one of the youngest players to ever win a title or the US Open.